This is the number one mistake I see artists making when they're painting skin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Isabel. I'm a professional illustrator and a digital artist, and I love sharing my tips and tricks with you. The number one mistake I see when artists are painting skin is staying within the same hues. When you take your eyedropper tool and bounce around to the different areas of the face, that color stays in the same spot and you're just essentially using lighter and darker variations of one color. We don't want that because our skin has so many variations with it. So if we're just using one hue, it's going to end up looking not like skin, but more like clay. A great way to combat this is starting with the color zones of the face. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a video on the color zones, so go check that out. Once I plop in the color zones, I do a blending overlay mode on top. So make sure this is a completely separate layer to your painting. And then I turn that layer opacity down quite a bit so it ends up being very, very subtle. This is automatically going to change the various hues on the face and it's a great starting point if you don't know where to start.